Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, thanks Mayor Garcia and City Manager West and um, Dr. Painter and of course Bloomberg and Southern California Edison for your sponsorship, much appreciated. Uh, we were asked uh, to deliver a witty, dynamic, energetic and engaging, fun talk and I thought I might be able to do one of those and you'll have to tell me which one I achieved at the end of the talk. Uh, for me, it's a bit of a tall order to do all of those. We saw some of the TED talks that happened that the students are doing, and those are the ones I aspire to but haven't yet reached. Thank you for your, the opportunity to be here at the Civic Innovation Summit. Uh, Cal State Long Beach is truly proud to be a part of Long Beach's outstanding civic infrastructure, as Mayor Garcia referred to earlier. Universities throughout the country play a vital role in the community through innovative research and partnerships, and Cal State Long Beach is no exception. We have a long history of strong pioneering partnerships with the city and area businesses, and we hope to expand and continue those. One of the most significant things that we have done as a university is the Long Beach College Promise, which is an innovative partnership between, as you all know, Cal State Long Beach, the Long Beach Unified School District, Long Beach City College, and the City of Long Beach. And that partnership has earned national recognition for its collaborative approach to helping our local students earn degrees and reach the lives that they so deserve and aspire to. Here are just a few achievements to pat yourselves on the back on for, for since the promise was established. About 75% of Long Beach Unified's High school graduates now enroll in college within one year and 80% within two years of graduating. The number of Long Beach Unified graduates enrolling at CSULB has increased by 71% since the promise was created. And if you think of yourself, to, to yourselves, that's a dry number. But what that means in lives, in promise, in careers, in achievements, in taxes, in benefits to the city and the state are immeasurable. Um, we've also created about 2,600 internships that have been added citywide since the promise was created. And just so that you know, the Graduation Initiative 2025 is a new initiative, a new collaboration between the state, the legislature, and the California State University system where we promise to graduate your students more effectively, more quickly, and with higher quality degrees. And so we're looking forward to continuing that partnership, expanding it, and broadening it. One of the ways we're expanding the partnership right now is through our efforts, and in fact, those are the efforts of our faculty. We're expanding upon the promise by the BUILD grant, and BUILD stands for Building Infrastructure Leading to Diversity. And this is made possible through a $24 million award from the National Institute of Health. Uh, this is the largest and by far the most competitive grant ever awarded to Cal State Long Beach, and it's due to the excellence of our faculty and our administration and our partnerships with you and Long Beach uh, Unified School District and Long Beach City College that we can make this award possible. We've established an innovative research program that helps pr prepare traditionally underrepresented students for doctoral programs in health-related fields. Within BUILD, our faculty and students participate in outreach activities to Long Beach Unified School District and City College to educate students about research careers, particularly those in biomedical and behavioral sciences. And where do you think those students will come back to? Of course, they'll come back to Long Beach and contribute to the growth and development of the city. And so we're very proud to be a partner. Another way we contribute 
is with our innovation challenge. And what I'd like you to look at, you've seen some statistics, you've heard some academic things from Dr. Painter. What I'd like you to focus on in these pictures is the faces of the people. These are the future faces of America and these are the future faces of our Long Beach promise. And maybe one of these is the future uh, Warren Buffett. Um, and the person who's going to contribute to our future health and development. About five years ago, we at Cal State Long Beach created an innovation challenge as an opportunity for undergraduate and graduate students from across the university to use innovation and entrepreneurship to make a difference in our local and global communities. Student teams enter the challenge by submitting a letter of intent and a compliant business plan. Four finalist teams are selected to present their business plans to community business leaders. The winning team receives support for its business, including $10,000 in seed funding and space, marketing, legal, and accounting services totaling up to $40,000. It's that small but crucial investment in the future that makes the difference for our students. Along the way, they develop their plans with help from all of you, local business leaders, graduates who are in Long Beach and city government. Last year, a team made up of three business students won for a really interesting and innovative idea, a mobile boxing ring that could be trucked to recreation centers and other facilities to help senior citizens have fun and maintain their strength. Isn't that a great idea? Past winners include things like startups producing 3D bones. Now we've seen 3D awards, we now have 3D bones. And this Lux Nova has completed early R&D and is now moving on to marketing the technology and developing a foundation for future re further research. Company officials, because it's now an official company, expect to produce a commercial bone printer capable of industrial scale operations by 2020, and I'm very pleased about that because that's probably when I'll need a new hip. The year before that, in fluids, the winning team was working on a non-invasive tool that uses simulations to help physicians more quickly diagnose pulmonary diseases including pulmonary embolisms, which affect more than one million Americans every year. Influids is developing new and better designs for inhalers, surgical masks, and drug delivery systems, and improving preventative measurements for controlling air quality. The previous year, the winning team launched a textbook trading website and app that connected college students with other college students on their campus who were looking to trade their textbooks. And I think that represents a theme of what the students are doing. It's all about connecting in new and interesting and different ways. One of the things you see in that picture on the right is Glide Tech, a magnetic gliding technology intended to make sliding doors and windows of any size easier to open and close. That technology can be applied to patio doors, windows, room dividers, closet, shower, and industrial doors. The seed funding that they got went towards obtaining a patent, participating in industry trade shows, and building prototypes for potential customers. What impresses me so much about all these teams is that these ideas, after they've been thought of by these wonderful creative students, are so obvious. And I think to myself, gee, why didn't I think of that? What a good idea. And this is what characterizes innovation by our students and all of you, that they're wonderful, good ideas. And somebody said that all good ideas are obvious, but only after the discoveries. On the left, we have another interesting idea. That's the motocross electric bicycle, EMXB. Lightweight, powerful, emission-free. This bike combines the capabilities of a motorcycle with the practicality of a mountain bike. To date, the company has sold several bikes and over 40 frame kits shipped to 13 different countries all over the world from right here in Long Beach. And so I think you can see 
in practice the kind of thing that we can do together. We couldn't do it as a university without the support and help of many of you, local sponsors, providing funding for the prizes, serving as judges, and mentoring students. We are tremendously grateful for your help and partnership. Our students and faculty also work with local organizations, businesses, and the city to address regional challenges. Four students in the College of Engineering recently presented a proposal at a community meeting last month for reusing the shuttered Boeing C-17 production facility. Their idea for a solar park aims to make Long Beach less energy dependent while creating jobs and adding revenue for the city. A win-win-win. In 2014, we received a grant that allowed us to partner with Dignity Health St. Mary Medical Center to establish the second trauma recovery center in the state. Since then, a number of community agencies, including the Long Beach City Prosecutor's Office and Police Department, have recognized the importance of the Long Beach Trauma Recovery Center, LBTRC, and have signed on as partners. One of our newest partnerships is with Catalina Island Conservancy, a private land trust that manages trail systems, campgrounds, marine areas, and wetlands on the island. This partnership can help answer some of the pressing conservation and management needs on the island while giving students career preparation in resource management. We also have no problem with social justice in our city. Cal State Long Beach is helping the homeless. We serve as an active partner at the villages at Cabrillo Collaborative to support homeless and formerly home homeless families, individuals, and veterans. Last year, we had 43 Cal State Long Beach interns, service learning students, MBA students, and federal work study students investing more than 1,600 hours to support the collaborative in after-school programs with US Vets Women's Advance through the Villages Garden Pro Project, children and adults at the Oasis Community Center, and consulting with Century Villages at Cabrillo on sustainability practices. We have opportunities for new partnerships, and I would ask and beg you all to reach out to the university. We are not an ivory tower in Long Beach. We're part of your community. We're proud to be part of Long Beach, and we want to continue to partner and grow with you as you become the city of the future. Um, You'll hear later from two of our Cal State Long Beach faculty. You've seen Heather Barker, who got the award, but she's from our Department of Design. You'll also hear from Dr. Ingrid Martin, the Director of Graduate Programs in the College of Business Administration. And one of the things that I'm most proud of as provost is the collaboration between our colleges, business, engineering, art, natural sciences and math, in fact, all our colleges, to reach out into the community and partner with you. Please feel free to contact them or me if you're interested in establishing or expanding a partnership with Cal State Long Beach. Go Beach! <laughs>